What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. It is 6pm on Saturday and it is the Numbers Up promo day 2. Uh, such a good promo so far. Hasn't been, it's been awful. Let's see if anything at all what we've got. I've got 52 player packs, that's what I've got. Um, promo packs, there was some 50k, yeah some 50k's have been dropped. I'll open one for the memes. Just one, though, for the memes. Go on, give me one. Give me one. No, nope, just flames. I just want to. I just want to pack one. You know, that's an awful pack, but never mind. Let's go and have a look at the objectives. Surely they've given us a cool objective for today. Surely, new milestones. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Objectives aren't there. Milestones. I don't think are there. Is there any new milestones? Oh, there is a new milestone. I told you. I knew it. I knew it was coming. It's Lewis Miller. He looks cool. La Liga. In managerial masterpiece again, obviously. Um, score a goal from outside the box in eight matches. That's going to be nearly impossible, isn't it? With the absolutely deadbeat players that you've got to use in managerial masterpiece. Assist with a through ball in five matches. Assist 20 goals. Score 30 goals and win 10. It's not too bad, to be fair. Uh, he looks all right. It's going to be interesting to see what his in-game stats are, but he looks all right. Um, literally just depending on his skill moves, weak foot and things like that. And then we have got Alvaro Morata flashback to his great performance at Real Madrid in the Adidas X16 slash X17 during 16 slash 17 season. Cool. Four star weak foot, six foot three, three star skill moves, good pace, very average dribbling, reasonable physicals. I say average dribbling because 80 agility, 75 balance, 83 composure. Passing's okay. But just, this is a bit, let's see what it costs. An 83 and at the end, uh, no. That's too expensive. For a card that bad, that's too expensive. Um, we'll have a look at his in-game stats as well in a second. Impossible is nothing, I think, was there yesterday. Three stripes is new. For a Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack, that's a 50k pack. 80 rated, 9 rares, 95 chemistry, 1 club max 2, same league max 4. Players from the same region, minimum 4. So people are just going to do na nation squads there, absolutely fine. And that is for, as I say, a Jumbo Premium Gold Players Pack, which is 24 players, 7 rares. And then did we get... No, we didn't get any new leagues. I am expecting them a lot, and they're not coming. Same as Icons, they're not coming either. And so let's open a few more, a few more of these packs. What do, what do you guys reckon? What do you guys reckon about Morata? You like him or not? That's not a 50k pack. It, it is 100% a 50k pack. That pack is worth 50,000 coins. It is a 24-player pack with seven rares. R3 on league player. We'll, we'll, we'll check it out on uh, on Footbin. Overpriced. Yeah, my, my, initial, my initial first response is overpriced. Tom, thank you for the stars, man. Much appreciated, bro. A very, very generous donation there. I appreciate that. 55k pack. Nope, it's a 50k pack, guys. If it was in store, it would cost 50,000 coins. I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. So gassed to get on Vanguard. Let's go. On guard. <laughs> the promo is a letdown. It really is. It really is. Rare Mega is 55k. Correct. No, it's 55k. Nope, it's 50k. It has literally been in store or logged as a 50k pack. 100 million percent. It is a 50. Oh, some mega packs. I do like a mega pack. Milestones, La Liga player. You are correct. We have already looked at him. We're going to go and have a look at his in-game stats in a second. And there's also uh, Morata. For me, Morata looks just not interesting enough. Oh, wait, that's it. We've run out of few points. Let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look. Here we go. So the new players, Morata and Luis Miller. We'll start Morata. What have they given him? Eight pace, 
Five shooting. What key stats have they given him? They're giving him 12 balance and eight agility. And then just eight pace and an otherwise regular kind of boost from a plus 83 to an 87. He looks okay. He, he, he does look okay. He's got nice physicals, good jumping and heading with, you know, being six foot three tall from corners or from set pieces. He could be a bit deadly. He's got very good initial pace with that 93 sprint speed is good. His passing is also reasonable for a striker. Short pass 83, curve 83, vision 82. It doesn't have any traits, unfortunately. I think you might look at an engine, depending on how valuable shooting is for you. 90 finishing, 92 positioning is very good. An engine gives him great pace, better passing and a boost that agility and balance. Otherwise, you might want to go for a finisher, which again gives him 10 agility, 5 balance, 12 dribbling, makes his dribbling super good, is finishing very good. Alternatively, I do like the Hawk this year. Good pace boost, great shooting boost. He will be clinical in front of goal and has that four star uh, weak foot with really nice physicals. It's just that dribbling then is left a little bit heavy. I don't know what he's coming in at for price. He, I mean, he's not bad. Th th for me, this is one of those cards. He's, he's getting like downvoted, generally speaking. Um, I mean, an 83 with an inform is going to be about what? 20k? And then maybe like, is it 60k for an 85 rated squad these days? Surely not. Is an 85 rated? No, it can't be 60k. Yeah, an 83 with an inform or an 82 with an inform, same, basically the same. It's, it's one of those players where if you've got a Serie A squad or you're a Juventus fan or something like that, he's cheap enough to the point where it's like, yeah, you might as well just do him. But he's also one of those players that I just, I, I get that impression would just be heavy in game. He's cheap as chips. I don't think he's cheap as chips. And then we've got Luis Miller. So he's been given 11 defending, 9 physical, 7 dribbling, 7 passing, 4 shooting, 6 pace. 10 stamina in there as well, which is really nice. 3 star, 3 star, which is a bit sad, but this is, this is a good card. His defending is very good. 96 stamina, his passing is quite okay. An engine on him, very good passing, good pace, good shooting for a DM. Good physicals. I mean, you could go for like a shadow or an anchor. An anchor is real nice, man. His, pass, his passing is okay. It's good enough. His dribbling as well is okay. 88 composure as well. I actually don't think that this is too bad. I think this is quite a nice card. I think it has more usability than Oxford personally. Um, I, I quite like this. I think it's okay. Whether you put a shadow or an anchor, whether you play an engine, maybe you want to play him in more of a like mid centre midfield role. So maybe something like a dead eye gets him to that 99 short pass, 83 curve, 91 vision, decent shooting stats and decent dribbling stats. Like there, there again is like a lot you can actually do with this card to make him useful, like a powerhouse there. Insane passing, insane defending, good physicals reasonable pace and reasonable dribbling I, I i don't think he's that bad personally i don't think he's that bad in in fact i'd go as far as saying he interests me a lot more than Morata. um i'd be interested to see what Morata's price comes in at. i don't think it's going to be as high as ninety thousand. i think it's going to come down a little bit compared to that but even in like the eighty thousand mark or so i just don't know man i just i just i think this is one of those SBCs where it's like, look, if you want Morata, go get him, cool. But I just feel like this card is not good value. I think it's a good card. It's, uh, it's just not a 90, 80, 90k card, in my opinion. Um, but that's going to be the end of the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.